Okay, this is my user review of the 2015 Transition Patrol. Um, we'll start off with pretty much all the stuff you hear about in the reviews from the bike companies and stuff, such as the long reach and the low bottom bracket. I don't think this has a long reach at all. I'm 5'10", this is a medium, and with a short stubby little stem on there, it is actually a shorter reach to me anyways, than my second generation Santa Cruz Nomad. But I love that tight little feel, so I don't think it feels long at all. People are saying that it has a low bottom bracket, which it definitely does. Um, it is, I haven't found it to be a huge issue. You will get a couple of pedal strikes here and there. If that really bothers you, then you might want to look elsewhere. I'm running it with 30% sag. I find that has a little more pop. I don't really feel like I lose much suspension out of it. Just think that's my ideal location for it. Um, I've heard people say that it's hard to wheelie because of the long front end. I don't think it's true. I feel like you're more in the middle of this bike. So that's why it's harder to get the front end off the ground. But just like anything, you get used to it. Um, yeah, other than that, it climbs great, descends great, looks great. Um, so what are some of my favorite things about this bike? Would have to be cornering, I think. That you're in the middle of the bike thing absolutely works for corners. You are planted, the real wheel comes out when you want it to, not before. And it doesn't feel like you have to put all your weight leaning way far over like you do with a Nomad. It, uh, it's just right there, super secure. And the rear suspension. I did not like the virtual pivot point in the Santa Cruz bikes for my type of riding. It was great, nice bottomless feel for bigger hits. But for the smaller technical stuff, it just felt like it was slamming into it and the suspension wasn't moving up. Same thing with the climbs with the VPP. Was it just felt like it slammed into square edge hits and just didn't move. It just stayed there. You got hung up on it. The horse link, whereabouts, I don't feel like you get that bottomless feeling off the bigger hits. It sucks up the smaller hits, climbing and descending which I found much to be preferable. Um, the downsides to this bike? No, nah, I haven't really found any yet. I guess the whole not feeling like it's bottomless on the big hits is a slight downhill, downside, but it, still I would take the smaller hits sensitivity over that slightly more plush feeling on the bigger hits. Um, climbs great. The VPP does climb maybe a little bit better on the flatter if your trails aren't very technical, but if you have any sort of roots and rocks like here in Vermont, I think that the horse link is way more preferable. That's about it. Any questions? Leave them in the comments. Thanks.